Sorry, it took a while for the camera to start there. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Ultimate Fire episode review. This for season 25, the redemption season, episode 5, A Brutal Business. Um, really not a whole hell of a lot to talk about. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of go to the start. So, um, at the very beginning, actually, because the fires on this, for this episode were Hyder, San and Diego Lima, both from opposite teams, Hassan from Team Garbrandt, uh, Lima from Team Dillashaw, both really, really good friends at American Top Team. Uh, they pretty much started saying that they didn't want to fight each other. Like, they meet each other in the house as they're having breakfast, and they basically say, like, uh, you know, I think it was Diego that said, I knew they were going to try and pull that on me. And Hyder said, I want to fight uh, Stevenson, actually. And Liam said, I want to fight Edwards. And I was like, yeah. So they didn't want to fight the people that they were actually, you know, they didn't want to fight each other. And uh, I just think that speaks about their friendship. Uh, sadly, though, they did have to fight. There was one other moment. I'm trying to remember it. Like, there wasn't a whole lot that happened in the episode. Oh, yeah, that was it. It was kind of funny. Um, Tim Garbrandt brought in this... Whatever the whatever a fucking nose doctor is called. A nas nasalologist, I don't fucking know. Uh, he, um... Yeah, he was brought in and he... Basically, he had this device to open the airwaves in uh, through the nostrils by putting this little, this little sort of black, you know, those squeezy things the doctor used. Um, it pumps air into this white sort of bag thing, and it goes up your nostrils. And Uri Faber was the first one to have to try it because he's the oldest one there. He's the uh, he's the main coach. Well, Team Garbrandt's the main coach, but Uri's helping him. And he was the first one to try, and immediately after the first nostril was done, he, his hands went up to the doctor's hand like he didn't want to have it done. But he had to do both. All the fires did. It was a really surprisingly funny part of an episode that was otherwise kind of meh. Uh, so yeah, there was those ones. Then there was the fight itself. Uh, Dil Dillashaw moves to 5-0 and now, as Liam won by his decision. He got some really good takedowns, got some really good back positions, lands some great body kicks. Throughout the first round, Hassan didn't really do a whole hell of a lot. In round two, he did manage to land some good punches, but he didn't capitalize on it. And it brings me to this problem I've been having this entire season with Garbrandt. He expects the fighters to fight like he does too much. Like, Dillashaw is more versatile. Dillashaw's telling them what to do, because, you know, he's, he's telling them to do what they do and works. And you would think for a guy that actually asked him, like, mentally, why do they want to be here from Garbrandt, which I thought was a really smart move from him, you would think that he would teach them to not fight so much like he does. I've got no problem with the way Garbrandt fights, I think it's a very exciting style. But the fighters he has on his team are more than that, you know? And I feel like it's a shame, I feel like they're sort of wasted on, on his side. But, yeah, it was kind of a, it was a good fight, it wasn't too interesting, uh... Lima won, Son lost, uh, Dillashaw moves to 5 0. And speaking of Edwards versus Stevenson, that fight is not next, but it will be the uh, last fight before the World Card because the next fight is actually. Who was it? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look it up to try and remember. Oh yeah, Julian Lane uh, from Team Garbrandt against Ramsey Nijum from Team Dillashaw. So that's the next one. The next one after that should be just Edwards and Joe Stevenson. <laughs> On me, and then should be the wild card fight. So, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. You know, the fight itself was pretty good. I thought Lima put in a good performance. I thought Hassan did well as long as he lasted, which wasn't long. Yeah, there really isn't a whole hell of a lot to talk about for this episode. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow for my next backtracking episode, uh, which will be a lot longer than this review. Because it's going to be a bench helpful, and I've written a lot on it. Like, I've done a huge chunk for it, but it's going to be a good episode. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to the next episode, episode, next episode of The Ultimate Fighter, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, just take care and stuff. Bye-bye.